Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota today. With springtime on the horizon, you may be wondering how to reset your mind and body after the long winter months, which means it may be time for a cleansing detox. Nick Schuster and Crystal Nicklay from Swanson Health Products are here to share more. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Well, welcome back. We always love having you on. All right, Crystal, springtime can have some of us feeling like we need a reset. How can doing a cleanse really help? So it can help with digestion, mental clarity. It can some, for some people, your skin will look better. Yeah. It's a really good way of resetting e unhealthy eating patterns. Mm -hmm. So the body is really good at naturally detoxifying itself. So we want to take supplements and herbs to support that, just to help your liver function better, kidney function better, because your body's going to detox on its own. Yeah. Yeah. That is certainly good to know. So Nick, what are some of the best supplements for cleansing and detoxing? Yeah, so we have some really great options for people. A lot of them are herbal, natural herbal options. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite is milk thistle. Milk thistle is a liver detoxifier. Um, and one of my favorite products is our milk thistle dandelion and um, yellow dock. Yellow dock. <laughs> uh, this is a great product. It's a synergistic formula, and it also includes uh, 100 milligrams of beetroot, which is great. Uh, mm -hmm. Cranberry. Cranberry is great for kidney, liver, uh, and uh, re um, urinary tract function. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of great. Uh, formulations, kidney essentials, liver yeah. essentials, that sort of a thing. And then we have a really unique a uric acid cleanse product, which uh, contains tart cherry, uh, really unique product, helps the body eliminate uh, uric acid. Um, so those are some of the ingredients. In terms of like actual detox, we have uh, some, you know, what I would call detox plan type products. The one that mm -hmm. I think is probably the most well-known is the uh, uh, Nature Secret Ultimate Cleanse. Been around a long time. Um, mm -hmm. Encourage people if you're looking for this sort of thing, you can go on our website. You take a look, take a look at the reviews and see what people say about it, and that's very helpful to deciding what you want to do. Absolutely, and these are so important too because I know not everyone necessarily consumes these every day. I know that I don't get dandelion in my diet every day, right. so that's where the supplements <laughs> right, come in, right? right? Exactly, yes. exactly, yep. Absolutely. So, Crystal, how long should a cleanse or detox typically last to see results? Right, so there is a few different options. You can do as little as one to seven days, and mm -hmm. you will usually see improved digestion with that. You can do up to four weeks where you're going to see greater improvement of digestion, just like skin clarity, um, and then after that, you can do four weeks or more. Um, that's usually for like a parasite or a heavy metal cleanse. Mm -hmm. uh, parasite cleansing can take months for some people, depending wow. on how you, know, you have to go through the egg cycles and stuff. Um, and also like a longer term cleanse is really good if you're trying to do complete like lifestyle changes, like mm -hmm. changing what you eat, eliminating alcohol. You know, you're going to want to get those set longer. So, and then also about sustainability. Some people aren't going to be able to do one for four weeks. Yep. So, what do you want to do? Like some people just like to do a weekend cleanse and just feel refreshed and mm -hmm. um, set to do um, better things in their diet. Any little bit counts then, right? Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're doing something good for your body. Absolutely. Yeah. So what specific foods or drinks should one include to include or avoid, excuse me, during a cleanse or a detox? Yeah, so first of all, I just want to mention that if, if a person is thinking about detox, especially some of the plans and stuff, you should always consult your doctor yep. if necessary. Mm -hmm. um, and we have, um, again, a lot of great options for people. Do, do a little bit of research, though. In terms of food and drinks uh, to either take or avoid, we'll start with avoidance. Um, and this is things you should try and reduce or just get rid of uh, altogether while you're doing the detox. The big ones are alcohol and caffeine. Mm -hmm. um, you're adding toxins to a detoxification program really doesn't work that well. Yep. Uh, red meat, red meat kind of slows your digestive system. That's something to, uh, again, reduce or avoid. Um, milk, dairy, and cheese. Again, it, you know, it's, it's, it can uh, make the detoxification less uh, effective, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, gluten and wheat, um, avoid those. And then any real processed foods, yep. anything that's high in salt, sugar, uh, high fat, or um, you know, uh, other types of um, ingredients like that, just just try and avoid it altogether. Yep. Um, in terms of what you should do, and this is across the board, broad base, stay hydrated, and you'll mm -hmm. see this again. The plans a lot of times will have, you know, more detailed instructions. You should always follow those. Stay hydrated. Drink water. Uh, we've got a lot of hydration drinks out there. Just make sure you're staying hydrated. And then if you add like uh, 
you know, fresh fruits and vegetables, legumes. Mm -hmm. If you add things like that to the, the diet, that'll actually help the detoxification process. Yeah. So those are things to uh, add to as you're doing the detoxification. Yes, all such great information. Crystal, where are you located? Right off of 45th Street across from Shields in the Colonnade Mill and on SwansonVitamins.com. Wonderful. All right, well, thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Yes, of course. All right, everyone stick around. We have more North Dakota today coming right up after this break. <laughs>